My name is Dr. Taylor Knipe. I'm an optometrist over at Yorkshire Eye Clinic. I started there uh, last July, so I've been there about a year now, and I do everything from comprehensive eye exams to uh, medical exams, uh, like same day visits for red eyes and vision problems and that kind of stuff. So the retina is the innermost uh, tissue that makes up the inside of the eye, uh, and it's made up of photoreceptors and all kinds of cells that are a big projector screen for the what you see in the outside world, basically. And so the retina catches all that information and sends it to the brain to be processed. Some of the most common retinal diseases would be uh, diabetic retinopathy, which is a condition that diabetic patients that we watch for, um, where they can have changes to their blood vessels and fluid buildup inside of their eye, and it can cause decreased vision, floaters, um, and so it's just something that we monitor on a yearly basis. Uh, there's other conditions such as like retinal holes or retinal tears, which can lead to retinal detachments. So macular degeneration is a retinal condition most likely seen in the older population, and it's a uh, forms because of a buildup of material underneath the retina, and it causes distorted vision. It can cause uh, spots in your vision, and so what we monitor for is changes over time. Um, it's a slowly progressive disease for the most part, um, but we like to watch it at least on an annual basis to make sure that things aren't changing. Um, just because once things start to change, it changes our treatment that we want to do with it and how frequently we want to see those patients. So the most common signs and symptoms uh, for retinal diseases aren't, you're not going to feel anything. The, the retina is made up of light sensing cells, so there's no pain receptors inside of the eye. So most of the time people will notice floaters, flashes of lights, um, they'll notice distorted vision or parts of their vision that are missing or maybe even they feel like their peripheral vision is uh, constricting. It's important to catch retinal diseases early just because the earlier that we're able to treat the more uh, favorable outcome for the patient. So uh, if you start to notice any changes in your vision, it's better to be safe just to get it checked out and make sure that there's nothing wrong and if there is that we get you to the right people in a, in a good amount of time. The OptiMap is a camera that takes a wide field photo of the retina and it gives us doctors a chance to see more of the retina in a photo than we have in the past. The photos we used to be able to take were a fairly small portion of the retina and to, to supplement that we would dilate patients to see the peripheral retina and with the OptiMap it takes a photo of that peripheral retina so um, we're able to better document findings in that area of the retina. Um, even catch things earlier that we can uh, zoom in on that particular finding and monitor that from one year to the next or from one visit to the next. An OptoMap image is captured just by sitting in a, a little machine. It's a quick photo just like you would sit for any other uh, photo. It's quick, you take two photos of each eye and it's just a bright green flash, pretty painless. The benefits of the OptiMap to the patient are that we're able to document findings from one year to the next. Um, previously we were just documenting in a chart our findings and that can vary from one doctor's way of documenting to the next and so it gives us a, a photo that we can look back from one year to the next and see exactly what things are changing or staying the same and it's a, it's a good alternative to dilation if a patient isn't able to be dilated that day. Um, we're still able to view the part of the retina that we wouldn't otherwise be able to. I would recommend eye care at Yorkshire Eye Clinic and Optical because we're able to provide a really comprehensive eye experience for the patients. Uh, we have me as an optometrist that's able to do comprehensive exams and red eyes, but we also have two ophthalmologists that see comprehensive exams and they're also able to perform um, cataract surgeries and other procedures and they're the only ophthalmologists here in Brookings, so it's kind of unique to our clinic. So we're also able to provide continuity of care because we have the same electronic health record as Brookings Health System and Avera Medical Group. So we're able to look at patients' charts and see a more, a more uh, full picture of what that patient is taking as far as medications, um, diabetic status, all that kind of stuff. And we also have a great staff over at Yorkshire.